expert John Manners, the force fingerprint officer for West Yorkshire Police. Welcome to Blue Peter, John. Thank you. Now tell me, what really happened? I received a request to examine this River Valley painting to look at what was believed to be a fingerprint which was found to be on the tree there in the foreground and appeared to have been made by the tip of a finger. Right, well, it, we can hardly see it there, but you've actually brought in this blown-up version of that fingerprint. So what happened then? How could you prove that this was actually a Turner? I needed a fingerprint to be able to match that one. And on this painting here, which is actually a reproduction, this is a painting called Chichester Canal by Turner, held at the Tate Gallery. And in the area of these trees were some fingerprints which were believed to be made by the artist Turner. And again, we've got another blow-up just here of one of those fingerprints. I was able to match the fingerprint of the Chichester Canal painting with the fingerprint of the River Valley painting. And here are the two fingerprints showing the detail which proves conclusively they were made by the same person. Well, they do look the same, but couldn't you say that there are lots of fingerprint prints that look similar? Fingerprints are unique to the individual and they never lie. OK, well, the art expert at Phillips Auctioneers, John Dabney, he was convinced that this was in the style of Turner's paintings and um, he actually had it tested as well. So would you say that the fingerprinting was the final piece of evidence? It proved beyond all doubt that the same artist had handled both paintings. Also, what I find extraordinary is that we can still find fingerprints on these paintings that are so, so old. How comes? It is extraordinary, but of course, once a fingerprint has been placed in paint and that paint has set, they will remain there forever. Well, listen, thank you very much for coming in here. And um, it's quite interesting, isn't it, all this? It certainly fascinating. is, yeah. I might buy it. <laughs> On <laughs> December it the 12th, Landscape with a Rainbow is being auctioned at Phillips in London. It's amazing what a famous name can do. This painting was sold in the 1980s for just a few pounds. Now that experts have identified it as a genuine turner, it's expected to raise £120,000. Well, you don't need that amount of money to take part in our Blue Peter appeal. In fact, you just need certain kinds of waste paper. Now, remember, we're collecting glossy paper, good quality office paper and cards so we can recycle them and buy 100 wheelchairs for children who urgently need them. Children like Jamie Sutherland from South Devon. Right.